it's very traumatic to fall and to get injured. In our unicycle, there's a smoke machine which has a battery. So the whole thing is like all chromed and tubes and stuff. So they made a very light unicycle into a very heavy one. There was one incident where the unicycle fell off the stage and this lady just caught it, the hero that night. She <laughs> prevented a major accident. We're there to make them safe and to make the act secure and go on night after night. It's a big responsibility, but also it's just part of the job. It's part of the, the role that we have. My name's Alana. I'm from the UK and I do sway poles in absinthe. My name is Phil. I'm from Quebec City, Canada, and I am a unicyclist on absinthe. I got into circus because I was a gymnast all my life. I started training as a gymnast from the age of five and I competed for my country, became European champion 2011 and third in the world 2012. And then six months after, I got approached by a company and then went on tour. I ran away with the circus and I was then getting paid to do what I love rather than paying to do what I love. It was a dream come true. I started doing circus when I was pretty young. My dad pretends to be uh, the first one in Quebec City to own a unicycle. And I say pretend because it's full of <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Eventually they bought me a unicycle and I was that weird kid doing unicycle going to the grocery store and corner store. And eventually they signed me up to the circus school in Quebec City. So when I was 13 years old, I started doing street performance with another guy, Gabriel which is also now a professional circus artist. And we were the two little kids doing street performance and eventually did the professional degree in Quebec City. That was my kind of upbringing to uh, becoming a professional circus artist. So I, I studied in circus. My main discipline is sports acrobatics, which I also do in absinthe. We do the trio as well as sway poles. And when I was on another show, I also learned sway poles. So I kind of had a bit of an experience before joining Absent of how to use a sway pole and how to work it. A porter essentially is, is the base, is the one on the floor supporting other people, other acrobats. We both have the same skill sets. We're on the ground throwing people, holding them, lifting. I guess we did kind of try to do an act together, but it wasn't that much of a success. The reality is that we both need little people to... To lift. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we met on Instagram and through friends of friends they were trying to get us together for a long time and we officially first met in Vegas. So we were both on tour, so both different tours and we were here in Vegas for five days, went on dates every day and then she went back on tour in Russia and I went back on tour in New Jersey. So I really wanted to go see her and get out of New Jersey. Made it happen, got to Moscow and then uh, stayed with her for a week and left uh, less of a single man. Yeah, we continued to do long distance touring for two years until the pandemic hit. We actually bought a house in Vegas January 2020, just before the pandemic. I hadn't worked for Spiegel World yet, but we were speaking and I knew this was an option. There was no definite timeline when we bought the house here in Vegas. It was a bit of a gamble. So I decided to come gamble in Vegas. <laughs> so during the pandemic, we created this garment printing company to supply the clothing company that we had. So together we bought the equipment during the pandemic when we weren't earning any money, we were like, let's spend a lot of money on this equipment and let's see how it goes. And we started selling online, on Etsy, on smaller platforms and helping other smaller brands. And it became very successful. How many fit on an 18, 8 by 11? Look at that. Who's that? Towards the end of the pandemic, we were like, okay, this is getting too big for our house. We had it all in one bedroom to start with. And so then we bought a studio space where we have our two businesses now in the front as well as a photography studio in the back. Being able to supply for other people, being able to help other people is something that we strive off of. Yeah, our structure is unique in a way because we're not stressed financially. The drive is to create and not necessarily to become rich. So we grew a lot our social media platforms and stuff just to try things and, and present our art, but differently. And then I think we started a little competition. The competition was just to see who could 
get the most followers, who could get to 10,000 first, and then and he got to 10,000, and then I was like, okay, 20,000, and then he went up to 200,000, I was like, okay, yeah, game, you win. I'll give you this one. <laughs> <laughs> you grew a big following on Instagram at first, <laughs> and then TikTok arrived, and then we started understanding this new platform, and started focusing on learning how to create content for these platforms and understanding what the followers wanted to consume. And we see something on TikTok or Instagram, we're like, oh, we could do that, but let's make it more us. Hey, I think we mastered it now. <laughs> <laughs> you look so much smaller without your clothes. <laughs> You're sweating. No, it's good enough. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I can't change. Is it great? Cute. Nice. We got it. The best part about posting on social media is it, that kind of attention for me. I, I know I need it. It's got a thousand views already. I'm a bit of an attention, and it's not treatable. We know, and so we just go with it. Sharing those other skills and other ideas and other businesses that we have help our followers to understand who we are in, in a bigger picture. I guess what we find fun about it now is, especially because we have our own photography studio, like creating in our own space, I don't know, it keeps the creativity there off stage as well as on stage. Yeah, we love the possibilities and it's, it's kind of endless, you know, what you can create. So it's nice to be able to have that outlet. We grow together, we build together and we're constantly evolving. Um, when I was approached by Spiegel World, I remember exactly, it was January 1st. And we were both hungover, and we got the text and it was kind of, oh wow, okay, this is amazing, this is finally happening. I mean, it was such an amazing feeling, already knowing that Phil was working with Spiegel World, to be joining the same show, the set, like we'd been wanting to get on the same show for a long time, to have the same schedule. So, when they approached me, I was so excited. I was straight away, I was like, yeah, I'm available, I'm here, I'm ready to go, I can start tomorrow. <laughs> And to be fair, like she was definitely the best option for the, for this role. So Alana was, you know, Phil's wife. Suddenly things were gonna shift a little bit. Rather than being Phil's wife and no one really knows what I'm capable of, for them to be able to see what I'm capable of and like, oh, okay, she's she's talented too. It's not just him. I stand my own ground. <laughs> for me, there's a big difference when I was on a touring show compared to being on Absinthe is that the audiences are so much closer. That much of an intimacy, it does affect our performance and it makes it more unique night after night because you get to actually have these interactions. So there's something magical about being able to connect with them directly and feed off them. For me, where I see similarities is from street performance. I, when I was on the street and you know, gathering a crowd and I really got to connect with my audience and now I kind of see this same kind of interaction with the audience, which I really enjoy, and it's a fun little thing to be able to improvise with them. Yeah, and I think it just makes it more enjoyable for the artist and the audience, the closer you are, because they each get a more unique experience together. However many times we do the show, the people in the audience are seeing it for the first time. I get to do what I love, and it's our way of expressing our emotions and putting a smile on someone else's face, and there's nothing that beats it. It's what I've always dreamed of doing. I never feel like I'm working. <laughs> There's so much more to discover in Circus Town. Check out more videos and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a trick. Watch that. Did I get it? Is it right there? You see this? Now your turn. You can do it. You can do it.